guys, so we're going to be doing a movie review of the Disney's, the Three Caballeros, or it's pronounced Caballeros, whatever. Okay, I'm going to say one thing about that movie, okay? One thing. It's so good. It's, if you don't, okay, one thing. If you're one of those people who likes the, um, what's it called, the, the Disney, like, um, they're the, um, we're gonna pop over here. They're the Disney um comp. I don't know if you call them compilations, but they're like melody time, melody time, and um make my music and funny fancy free and um Fantasia and Fantasia 2000. They're those kind of game uh kind of movies. And this one's just a c compilation of the whole thing. Now, a lot of people know this movie. But a lot of people don't know things like um, the prequel. Well, I'm not speaking about before or after, but it's it's basically a prequel. It's not really a prequel movie. It's um, what they call it? It's um, th uh, saludo, saludos, amigos, which means like hello friends. Yeah. So. Basically, that one just explains how they made like uh, the first one. A review I watched, uh, Doug Walker's review of uh, like Disney Thunder for Channel Awesome. He basically makes the argument, which I like that argument a lot, a lot. It's basically it's like, um, what was it? It's a good compilation, but it's not great if you're going to be watching. Basically, it's a good thing to put on on Saturday morning for, like, Disney Channel, but it didn't really end up being the greatest movie, which is fine. It's just it's a good movie. It's just it's not the greatest. So, it's it's okay. It, it works. So, um, yeah. So, it's basically, like, Donald Duck gets three presents from three amigos. Three friends. Amigos. Friends. Right? And he finds out that they're his cousin and his or two cousins maybe but one because here's the thing what happens that movie they're cousins saludos amigos they're not cousins right they're not cousins um in the new donald oh sorry duck tales they are cousins again so are they cousins or not i think they're cousins but anyway Find them, and so one is Joe Karaoke. Oh, well, first of all, they're from Disney. So, the first one they're from, from is just his friend, um, Joe Karaoke. Oh, I Joe Karaoke. So, it's just him and his friend. Okay, so it's him, yeah, and his cousin. And the parrot. And the parrot. And the parrot is basically, they go to Brazil. So that's Joe Karaoke. That's the second. First person, not from his cousin. He's his best friend. He opened the first one, and it's just a reel of uh, tape, and it w and it's basically about birds. So like, they go say like, Amazon, here's the rainforest, here's the Nile, all that kind of stuff, right? Here's like African birds, Brazilian birds, and really South American, but yeah, they go African for like a split second. Like, oh yeah, continent of Africa, but it's really the continent of South America. Like, okay, so he go he goes into that, and like the narrator starts telling him about stuff about like, hey, look at, at, this tape's falling off of my camera, um. Yeah, he finds like the narrator finds out like oh look at this bird and look at this bird and that bird and look at this bird and look at that bird. And like, okay, great. But he goes and does like he listens to documentary. He's, it's like a documentary. He's like okay, which kind of gets a little boring for Donald, but Donald's intrigued. So okay. um yeah. So basically, what happens is he starts getting told all the stuff, and then he goes to the first. We go to the first story, which um the three. Oh no, the first one is about a the what's it called a. Uh, Penguin, and the penguin is basically um, trying to get to warmth. He's a penguin that hates the cold. Think about that. That's a little strange, but he's a penguin that hates the cold. So he's listening. So we're listening to this like penguin explain his story about like he hates the cold. He doesn't talk. His name is Pablo. He doesn't talk. He's from South America. Uh, he's from the South Pole, not the North Pole, South Pole. And he basically goes, "Okay, I hate cold. Get me out of here." So he tries all these things to like walk away. Then he realizes this is like a boat. He carves out a piece of ice. And he goes basically to the um, 
to Caribbean and he meets uh well he passes by uh what's his name? All the places, you know. The uh equator island with like all these places and he gets to um he just finds out Caribbean island and he just sits there for the rest he says he found the island of his dreams so it's like okay 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 second part okay second part is him um talking about um is or the next part is about Donald uh, like about a it's really strange because he changes narrators and he goes to this guy Basically explaining about his childhood and how he in Mexico he has something called a flying donkey. It's like a legend, but he finds one. And he's like, oh, okay, which is fine. I don't care. It's just really weird that he's flying. Yeah, but it's like okay, it's fine. It, it, it's okay. It's not the worst idea. And then he finds out like racing, and basically he cheats the race. To win a bajillion dollars by, cause it's, 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 this flying donkey has wings. So basically, when he takes the wings out, he can go zoom, zero to sixty in like zoom, zero to sixty in like two seconds or something. The other guys who are just running like regular races, right? So like, okay, whatever, I don't care. But at the end, they find out that he's cheating, and they go, "You little turd!" And they're all like, "You can't win!" And then he basically takes the money and runs. <laughs> What do you want to do? It's not the worst thing ever. But, but, um, it's very much set up like a bad, a bad, I don't know. Set up, that one's very strange. I don't know. I don't know where we're going with that, but it looks very strange. But, then you get to the second, like, gift. And the second gift is Papa Gallo comes out and uh, Joe Karaoke comes out and basically goes, he's a parrot, he's a green parrot, right? Donald Duck is like, oh yeah, you! And he goes, okay, we're going to Bahia, which is a place in Brazil, apparently. And I'm like, okay, never heard of it, but okay. Then I look on a map, and yeah, there's this place called Bahia. Anyway, and Bahia. Have you been to Bahia, Donald? No. Well, if you go, you'll never return! I remember that. In my head. But yeah. So we're, we're, we're doing the whole thing. Like, we're watching him go to, like, Bahia. And then, basically, the whole point of that one is she meets, he meets, like, a beautiful lady. And Donald Duck goes, falls in love with, like, her eyes. And he's like, well, stop. Stop. That was the one that I hated. I never liked watching it. But, I'll get on to the part that I even hate, I hate even less. But, we watch it, and I'm like, okay, this is boring. There's nothing good about this. But, I mean, hey. like a song and whatever. It's, it's, I don't know. So he gets it, like, we do the whole part and then he comes back and the, the only good part about the second guy is at the end he does this thing trying to get his hands back and he's like, you have to take your thumb and look at your thumb. And then like, like a, a world atlas, basically. And so the thing there was, it's very, it's very not realistic, but hey, anyway, it's a cartoon, so what do you want? But, so he does it, he does the whole thing, and then, and then, and then, he, the second, uh, the third one, three games that play, they go bigger, whatever. Third one is the rooster, I don't remember what his name was. Joe, no, I can't remember, Kevin, <laughs> I don't know, anyway. So basically, right, he hears, so this guy is basically telling him the story of Mexico and like Christmas in Mexico basically. And he's like, but the Mexican children go on the same thing as the Mexican children. They don't necessarily eat the same thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, or American children. So basically, he's like, the Mexican people, the Mexican children go that go house to ho go door to door, trying to find a place to shelter, and bring the, the Blessed Virgin Mary and the baby and Mary and Joseph to find a place to stay. They are always told there is no more room, so they go to the, so they get told to go to the inn. <laughs> it's, it's a bad Mexican accent, don't worry. I'm not racist, please. I'm a bad Mexican accent. But he starts talking about that. It's so he starts saying that, and then like they play the flight. 
and then all the girls dress up in white and parade of lights, and then there's like, then he's okay. He's done all that part, and then he goes to like, okay, now let's show you what Mexico looks like in any time, not just the summer or the winter, just any time, not just Christmas. So he gets that part, okay, great. And then we just like, then we go to the part where they go on the beach, right? And Donald Duck tries to do this women, right? He's like running around trying to catch women, and it's like, okay, fine, whatever, fine. Then he stops. They the part where they start singing a Three Caballeros, which is a great song. We're three caballeros, three gay caballeros, we find the three birds of a feather. We're happy, so happy. I don't know what the rest of the lyrics. They're always together. Oh, it is a stormy weather. I don't remember the lyrics of that song, but it's good. So anyway, they get to that part, and they do this whole thing of like, so they're like, so Donald Duck's like, and then they have a piñata because like, in Mexico, in Mexico, we have a piñata. In Mexico, we have a piñata. For Christmas, we have a piñata. So you hit the piñata. And then they just mess with Donald Duck, and then he blows up, and so, and then, so he's trying to seduce women in that beach scene. It's weird. Anyway, it's not the worst, though. So that part gets done, and we're like, okay, now the rest of the movie is a piece of garbage after that. Sorry. The two specials at the end, the two, uh, Bonus features at the end are good. They're good. Don't get me wrong. They're good. Which is Don Donald and something Pluto. Pluto's Wild Caper or something. Anyway. They're good. They're good. Don't get me wrong. They're good. But between they they finish with the um Pinata and they go to do to, to the shorts. It's crap. It's crap. Because basically what happens after that is Donald Duck snips a flower and a powder comes off of the flower. And ba- you know what the so you know the scene in um, Dumbo when he drinks the well, the juice and he's drunk? He's drunk. Donald Duck sniffs a flower and gets high and starts hallucinating about girls. And he's like, Give me girl. That, I, that doesn't really exist. But she does exist. To get away, like to get away with not making Donald Duck high, he's not hallucinating, right? He had it in Dumbo with a drunken stupor, a drunken hallucination stupor. In Three Amigos, it's sorry, Three Caballeros, it, Three Caballeros, it's um, it's a high stupor. He's in, he's in a high. He's he had he's he's high. We all know that if you know anything about this, he. He's high, but nobody ever like admits like Disney was never like, oh yeah, he's high. Same way Don, uh, Dumbo was never drunk, but we all know he was drunk. So, so Donald Duck wasn't high, but Donald Duck was high. So really, Donald Duck was high. <laughs> so the movie kind of ends on like this weird, weird, weird ending. Weird, weird, weird ending. Not bad ending, just weird. So it's like whatever. I don't care. It's not great, but it's not awful. So I'm like, ah! you're like, whatever. It's a fine movie. I think it was my favorite movie as a kid. I must have watched it at least a thousand times, maybe five hundred, but at least a thousand. Like at least five hundred, if not a thousand. I'm not even kidding. Between five hundred and a thousand, I watch it so much because the first one is great. <laughs> then the first coven is okay. <laughs> And then the second cousin tears off into, like, this is absolute garbage territory. I'm like, I will never watch this territory. Which is fine. I don't care. I'm just saying, like, you end up with that, like, this is absolute freaking garbage. No, thank you. So. It's fine, though. It's fine. It's fine. Um, yeah. So that's um, uh, The Three Caballeros. Great movie. I'll or the prequel or the whatever one was like whatever um about um the three saludos amigos because it's a lot different than than it's a lot different because basically it's just them going to the uh south america like the disney crew going to south america it's fine about all stuff so i think that's it for now guys so adios mi amigo